My name is Madalena Kay. I am also known as the EU Supergirl. I'm a activist from Sheffield. I use art and music and writing to campaign creatively against Brexit. And at the moment, I'm in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. <laughs> So this is my 24 Reasons to Remain poster. It originally started out as an advent calendar project. So in 2016, after the vote, I wanted to find out more about what Brexit meant for the United Kingdom and what we were set to lose. Um, and I came up with a list of 24 reasons that are positive about um, European uh, citizenship. Um, and um, I turned it into this poster, which has been you know, quite widely used by the Remain campaign um, uh, to disseminate knowledge about the EU in a way that's quite you know, easy and simple to understand in a quick conversation. Well, the future is Europe. Um, hashtag already exists on social media and there's this big mural on a wall in Brussels that lots of people take a photograph of um, when they visit Brussels. It says the future is Europe and it, it just so accurately you know, represents what Europe is striving to achieve. Europe's not about the status quo, it's about building a better future for its citizens. Um, and, and that's why you know, I wanted to use that hashtag, but also because in the United Kingdom, the young people that voted, voted 75% to remain in the EU. The future that they voted for was Europe. It wasn't Brexit. I think the, the grant being called Dem Democracy Needs Imagination is actually really, is really clever and really important because um, the problem with the democratic debate as it exists and the reason why we have so much apathy is because it's, it's, it's conducted in such a sterile and restricted and conservative way and it's not, in, it's not an inclusive debate. Um, it's, uh, you know, a, a lot of people are shut off to it because they find it boring or because it's not relatable um, or it's too technical and, and, it, and it, needs, it needs broadening. So imagination is, uh, is about opening yourself up to different ideas and different ways of doing things and different dialogues and I think if we can start taking the political debate to other platforms using things like comedy, music, arts, um, and having kind of conversations with, uh, with, with, with people, with citizens that are, that are more relatable, then we're going to broaden the debate and we're going to make sure that the politicians represent a, uh, you know, a, a broader section of society rather than just a, a, a small minority. And if we're looking at the EU elections, historically there's been very poor voter turnout because citizens aren't engaged because of apathy. If you want to engage those citizens, then you need to, uh, you need to use imagination to broaden that debate. And that's what we need to strive to achieve in the future. Um, uh, a positive vision for the future of Europe that's more inclusive um, and more creative.